recently unveiled the production version of its Gemera hypercar. It's a hybrid, powered by two available combustion engines, as well as a single, powerful electric motor known as the Dark Matter. How is it so small and so powerful? In the world of the automotive industry, there's always room for the latest inventions. And it seems like every other automobile manufacturer is on the roll to be better and on top than the rest. And this time, the renowned car manufacturer Koenigsegg has come up with a kind of electric motor that may fit into your backpack, but is capable of producing up to 330 to 335 horsepower, which is something surprising enough. So what's there to know more about this? tiny motor, how does it work and what makes it different from the other motors? Join us today as we're about to delve deep into the iconic Koenigsegg's quirky motor, which is also thought to be an absolute game changer. So here we go. Swedish hypercar manufacturer Koenigsegg has long been an epicenter for revolutionary innovation as seen by its latest electric motor. The Quark electric motor, designed for the Gemera four-seater, is a little powerhouse. The Quark produces 335 horsepower and 443 pound-feet of torque in a package weighing only 63 pounds. In the images throughout, that's a 330 milliliter drink for scale. According to the business, the new motor offers class-leading torque to power, to RPM to weight, and could be utilized in current models, future hybrid vehicles, and even maritime or aerospace-related uses. What exactly makes it different from usual motors? The most common type of electric motor for EVs is the DC motor. It's made up of a stator, which is the motor's static portion, a rotor, which is the motor's revolving part, a commutator, and brushes, which are conductors that make connection with the motor spinning part. When electricity flows through the rotor, it creates an electromagnetic field. This magnetic field combines with a stator's permanent magnetic field, making the rotor rotate. The brushes and commutator allow the electrical field to flip rapidly connection with the motor spinning part. When electricity flows through the rotor, it creates an electromagnetic field. This magnetic field combines with a stator's permanent magnetic field, making the rotor rotate. The brushes and commutator allow the electrical field to flip, rapidly flipping polarity and keeping the rotor spinning. Although some EVs correct the current for AC, battery power is always DC. The amount of electricity flowing through the rotor influences its rotational speed. The rotor rotates faster as the current flows faster. A typical hybrid vehicle features two direct current motors, one to operate the wheels and another to assist generate electricity. The motor that drives the wheels is referred to as an induction motor, while the other is referred to as a generator motor. The induction motor utilizes electricity to generate a magnetic field that rotates the motor's armature or shaft. This rotation causes the car's wheels to turn. A battery pack provides power to the induction motor. In most situations, the battery pack is hidden beneath the car's floor. When the driver hits the accelerator, the battery pack transfers power to the induction motor, which in turn powers the wheels. Generator motors are generally used in tandem with rechargeable brakes and fuel cell technology. This system is utilized for instrument power or as a range extender by giving additional power to the battery. Regenerative braking transforms some of the vehicle's kinetic energy, which is generally lost as heat or noise while braking, back into electricity, which is subsequently converted back into chemical energy in the battery pack. Hybrid vehicles can achieve exceptional levels of combustive fuel efficiency because they can use electric power at lower speeds and gasoline power when greater power is required, such as while accelerating or climbing hills. However, these motors can have certain disadvantages as well. For example, they have limited ranges and some of them come in big sizes, which sometimes makes them inefficient to use in an EV. Now, this is where Koenigsegg's tiny electric motor jumps in. Koenigsegg's Quark e-motor has the ability of providing an astounding level of power while remaining incredibly efficient. It's ideal supercar performance, but it could easily be used elsewhere. The Koenigsegg Quark electric motor has been carefully developed to be as light and small as possible while generating an astounding amount of power. The motor is barely 30 centimeters long and weighs 30 kilograms. Despite its compact size, it can generate up to 335 horsepower and 442 pound-feet of torque. To put this in context, a 2.0-liter automobile engine typically delivers roughly 100 horsepower. Modern fuel-injected V8 engines produce 400 horsepower or more, with six-cylinder engines producing 300 horsepower to 400 horsepower. As a result, the new Koenigsegg engine is more akin to a V6. 
Even more astounding, it's only a quarter of the size of a standard 2.0 liter engine. So how does it work? The clock's radial and axial flux architecture allow it to produce high torque and power. The Terrier is a two-rotor drive unit that combines two corks to produce a massive 670 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque. The quark is not only tremendously powerful, but also extremely efficient. It features a torque to weight ratio of 14.8 pound feet per kilogram and a power to weight ratio of 11.2 horsepower per kilogram. This makes it one of the finest and most effective electric motors on the market today, giving it the industry leading power to weight ratio as claimed by Koenigsegg. Because of Koenigsegg's air core technology, the quark is made of high strength aerospace motorsport grade steel and hollow carbon fiber making it incredibly lightweight and durable. The air core technology developed by Koenigsegg is based on the company's idea that lighter is better. The air core technology takes an entirely new approach to car wheel construction and, instead of heavy metals like steel or aluminium, the Koenigsegg team has devised a technique to use air-filled carbon fiber cores. The air core design is appealing because it not only lowers weight but it also gives considerable strength and stiffness benefits. The ultimate result is a wheel that's approximately 40% lighter than a standard alloy wheel while maintaining or even improving strength and rigidity. If you're liking this video so far, don't forget to like and subscribe, but let's get back to the video. The Gemera's quarks create approximately 1100 horsepower in total, which is distributed to the rear wheels. They are combined with a dual turbocharged three-cylinder combustion engine that produces up to 600 horsepower to the front wheels while also extending the range. The combustion engine is also innovative. It's the first camless piston engine developed for mass production vehicle applications and it's also exceptionally compact, weighing only 150 pounds. It's known as the tiny friendly giant. However, Koenigsegg does not intend to keep the innovation to itself. It wishes to develop a system that other manufacturers could adopt, with advantages such as minimal bulk and volume, as well as high torque. According to the Swedish company, this unit will be of interest to EV makers, aerospace, marine and vertical takeoff and landing, that's helicopters. The Quark e-motor is based on magnetic, materials, cooling and packaging concepts. This is why the term alludes to the sole elementary particle capable of experiencing all four fundamental forces. Koenigsegg additionally offers an electric vehicle drive unit composed of two Quark motors, a small but powerful inverter and compact low ratio planetary gear sets at each output shaft. The Terrier delivers 670 horsepower and 811 pound-feet of torque in a package weighing only 187 pounds and featuring torque vectoring across one axle. A Terrier can also be fastened directly to the monocoque of a car. The path to better electric cars. Electric vehicle designers are hoping for a higher capacity, ultra-compact motor. The less space required to make the car move, the more space there is for passengers and their belongings. Cars that are smaller on the outside but larger on the inside offer enormous advantages. Not the least of which is that they require less room in congested cities. One widespread concern among enthusiasts is that as everything becomes electric, cars will lose a part of their individual personality. When everything from a mid-level crossover to a supercar uses the same basic powertrain design, it's easy to picture them all feeling the same from behind the wheel. Koenigsegg has never been accused of making conformist automobiles, and with this new quark motor, it appears the business will continue on that road even as it switches to totally electric vehicles. With this tiny electric motor, Koenigsegg is all set to make a big change in the automotive industry. The new quark electric motor from Koenigsegg is phenomenally powerful and efficient. Despite its small size, it packs a powerful punch with 335 horsepower. This technology has a potential to transform the hybrid car market as we know it, particularly in the realms of hybrid supercars and hypercars. Koenigsegg remains at the forefront of motor technology and we can't wait to see what they come up with next. What do you think of this new electric motor from Koenigsegg? Will it be an appreciated upgrade to their line of ultra-luxury performance vehicles? Or are they attempting too much with too little? What are your thoughts on it? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed watching this video, then hit the like button and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.